Hey everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are seeing if Terraria bosses can survive the Cataclysm. Now, this sword stuck out to me because when I looked through overpowered weapons on the mod browser, I saw this one and it pretty much said for a Game Raiders video in the description. Beautiful. What more can I ask for? Because we can see, it looks like the Meow Mirror, uh, except for it's got red eyes red nose i'm assuming and then it's got a little glow around it nice beautiful let's see it in action here uh we got to get to the dummies of course all right we're here at the dummies let's just let's just i guess aim the meow meow attack and hit it with the sword okay a little hard to aim here there you go and we're getting negatives which which is always a good sign in this series but yeah there's a left click attack and then does an insane amount of damage right click to use against scal and dog so we literally have an attack that will knock out any damage cap bosses beautiful and that's just the right click attack does a little bit less damage than the left click but for obvious reasons but yeah again make sure you guys leave suggestions for more op weapons let's get to it though i'm gonna kill bosses in a different area let's try and change it up every now and then all right we're gonna use the left click attack for a majority of the vanilla bosses obviously until we get to ones where um, i'll be worried about the damage cap so the left click it is for these early ones we got daytime skeletron which is always different from nighttime skeletron got a lot more defense a lot more damage we don't really have to worry about the damage obviously we're in god mode i cthulhu can we kill you before you disappear it kind of survived a hit it took like one damage right there from one of the cats that hit it i definitely think my favorite thing about meow mirror is the cat noises i wonder how they got those cat noises you know did relogic use their own cats or did they they outsource to get the cats we'll never know we'll never know well actually maybe the wiki says something but yeah let's fight turkor and lepus here both of them at the same time why not and then we could go ahead and take on the brain of cthulhu since we're over here chilling in the right biome completely planned this let's go ahead and take on the eater and the dark mage next i'm noticing all these blocks from when we did the echoes of ancients episode beautiful i love to see it just litter my world it's completely fine yeah boom eater take it out real quick and then we go to the dark mage and i got something to say about the old ones army it's low-key fun in multiplayer that's it never have i had fun doing the old ones army in single player but when you do it in multiplayer it feels like an actual fun event which i know it's, it's insane it's insane it's almost like the event and game it's based off of is meant to be played like that oh beautiful there's even more ancients awakened stuff or not ancients awakened echoes of ancient stuff here you love to see it let's take on the ball of flesh we are very far to the right this time there we go adding even more boxes to this right side maybe i should do some left sides there's still a lot of areas i could fill in over here but the left side is still fairly empty too sadly we still are not at 1.4 it's all good around the corner just gotta say it every time because it is around the corner it's just a very big corner but yeah let's take on the mech bosses here this should be no problem there we go let us do plantera and golem up next the golem not even moving that dude is phased or something maybe he's doing like a challenge can you beat terraria without moving i don't know he's up to something though let us go ahead and take on the duke duke fish ron come on it's been a while since we said it duke fish gone get him the hell out of here yeah i feel like maybe once we hit like episode 30 and maybe like a couple more videos on this world i think it's time we make a new world or something that or uh migrate a bunch of videos to the lab well i think we might make a new world for like this series specifically we can still do videos and stuff in the lab but like i kind of want to move this series somewhere else but yeah let's get to it you already know what time it is ogre what's up my boy he ain't shrek though come back here you think there's a shrek texture pack on the uh steam workshop there probably is honestly haven't really explored the steam workshop too much i know there's a lot of uh degenerate stuff on there no offense to my degenerates out there <laughs> uh there could be good degenerate stuff and bad degenerate stuff but there's mostly uh, bad i would assume you know at least with team mod loader people had to go through a little bit of effort to make uh dumb stupid shit but with steam workshop it's like literally no effort and everyone could access it so uh you know there might be some things on there that are nsfw and are just really stupid it's fine it's fine you know really logic they they pretty much were asking for it but uh you know the small time i've been on there i've seen a good bit of uh zoologist new texture packs it's all good that's honestly not even the worst thing i've seen on there all right pumpkin we gotta hit him with a combo boom grab him and they hit him like that that seemed like a smash attack combo like grab up that's it there's no there's no nuts <laughs> 
We got Everscream. Thank God the trees just sit here. Oh, hit him with the ricochet. I think Sand Tank also just sits here too. It's the damn queen and the damn king that fly around. They think they're royalty. They think they're special. You're not. You're very ugly looking. Well, this boss is ugly. I think the pumpkin looks fine, but you're very ugly. You deserve to die. Not a, Okay, don't take that out of context. Martian Saucer and of course the boy Marco. What's up, Marco? Hit him. Game freezes. It does this every once in a while against Marco and then he's going to explode into a bunch of blood. Okay, it, it does do this every once in a while, but like it's not. Oh, it crashed. I think we might have found the strongest boss in Terraria right there. All right, we're back. We're going to consider Akram just a W taker, and we're going to let him live, all right? Because I don't want to crash the game again. Let's kill the cultists. Boom. The game's going to freeze because every first death in the world always freezes the game. Shoot, even more than the first death sometimes. But let's get to it. I don't care about no damn speed run. Let's just get to Moon Lord. No crashes, please. Now, I've been thinking, once we hit that special number 30, I got a new idea for future episodes. And that might be just, like, including, like, a new mod every time with new bosses every time. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that'd be a nice little twist. Let's go ahead. Let's take on the uh, Dungeon Guardian here while we're wait. No, not Dub Jin Guardian. Dungeon Guardian. Unless he takes a Dub, then I don't know. No, we're good. He, he died pretty quickly, which is a good thing to see because that means we probably will kill the idol on Worm. But yeah, if you guys saw that Super Smash Terraria mod, we might have some cool episodes coming up in the future. We might potentially be able to put some strong bosses up against other bosses. But uh, for now, we'll just take it slow. Continue until we hit episode 30. Because episode 30, you know, it's going to be a big episode. We're going to be changing it up. We're going to be finding a lot of bosses we haven't. Something like that. I don't remember what I said originally. Hey, it's the Moon Lord. Hit his top eye. Thank you. Because we get that top eye, that means we get to go really quick here. Boom. Now, I'm going to go straight into the Thorium bosses because I think last episode I completely forgot them and had to record like mid-edit. So let's go straight to Dream Eater. Nope, straight to Dream Eater. Hit it. It's a little hard to aim this thing, I'm not going to lie. There you go. And after Dream Eater, of course, the Abyssion Trio. Beautiful. There's something alive. There's fish. Where'd all these fish come from? All right, and now we can move on to the other bosses, as in the mutant. Let me fight the mutant. What's up? Let me hit you with some cats, bro. Hey, I can, I know people are allergic to cats, but imagine dying to a cat. Now, that's that's different, unless it's like a tiger or something. But I could never die to a little tiny cat. But you never know, though. All right, so this is the first boss we're going to use the right click on. Come here. Come here. Let me hit you with that right click. Okay, it's still not insta-killing, but... It's doing good damage. That might have just been me missing most of the attacks right there. But it still killed him. We didn't see a damage cap. I'm kind of interested. Oh, damn. He's getting, damn, he's getting hit by the cats already. I didn't even touch him yet. What the hell? Now, I'm kind of interested to use the left click on him. But if it does what I'm expecting it does, aka just block it with a damage cap, then we don't need to. Dog still dead either way. Next up, the man, the myth, the legend, Yarn himself. Let's get to it. I think I could use the left click. Yeah, the left click's working fine. And there we go. All right, before we fight Supreme Cal, let's go ahead and stop real quick and fight the Eidolon Worm. Make sure I spawn in the right one. Oh, hold up. He's kind of resisting. He's definitely resisting. I'm trying to hit him in the head to make sure. Right click, maybe? I honestly didn't expect this. Usually when we can kill the Dungeon Guardian, the uh, Worm isn't too hard to kill after. All right, that's fine, I guess. I The only bad thing is I got to die now to get rid of it. Or there might be other ways to get rid of it. It's probably some other strong weapons we have installed to kill it. But it's fine. Let us fight Supreme Cal. Uh, let's get to it hold up where's the jungle at this is in the jungle boom supreme cow can i hit you over there no all right sepulcher do you die probably not wouldn't expect it to honestly but let's take out the balls of course and now let's see let's see wait no i'm supposed to right click here because we want to do good damage but we don't want to insta kill it because obviously it gets mad if we insta kill it the right click is the way to go though all right beautiful i didn't even have to click at the end the, the cats were just bouncing around and they ended up hitting her but there you go there was supreme cal let's move on to i guess we might as well do the ugana knuckles just because and then we'll finish it off with act death this sword is it does a lot of damage but at the same time i feel like uh it's not the strongest sword we've seen obviously i feel like as of recently we've definitely seen some monsters but yeah ugana knuckles let's do it die please 
Okay, it does not seem like he's dying. Maybe the right click? Maybe the right click? I gotta actually aim a little bit here. No, the right click is not doing it either. It's all good. It's all good. Take my life away. Thank you. But after seeing that, I don't know. The act death fight may not be good. Let's get to it though. Still my favorite boss to do is act death. Let's get it. What's up, act death? Let me hit you in the face with some of the... We did it. <laughs> What the heck? If it can't even do like a scratch to the Ugandan Knuckles, I did not expect it to kill Egg Death at all. That's honestly insane. That's really insane. Okay, I see you. I see you. Subvert my expectations right at the end. I see you, Cataclysm. I think that earns you a spot in the Hall of Fame. You know, you may not have crushed everything like past weapons, but I think just surprising me alone with being able to kill Egg Death, you deserve a spot in the Hall of Fame. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed another Cantoria Bosses vibe. We're almost at that episode 30. You know, episode 30, we're gonna fight that boss that's stronger than Egg Death that everyone's been talking about. There might be another boss that's even stronger than that too now that I've been hearing about. But yeah, make sure you guys keep on leaving your weapon suggestions and get ready, man. Episode 30 is around the corner. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see y'all next time.